7.35 here at Big 550 KTRS. Kathy Helbig from the Kathy Helbig Group joins us. Good morning, Kathy Helbig. Good morning. All right. Uh, what do you got today for us? Today we're going to talk about top mistakes that people make when choosing a realtor. Aha. Uh-huh. So um, there's quite a few things. People make their recommendations or their, their choices based on it's a family friend or it's a family mm. member. My college roommate's wife just, just became a it. realtor. I shouldn't choose her. Probably not the only criteria that you need to look at. You know, things like, oh, somebody gave me, I talked to two or three different people, and and this one told me the highest price for my home. Um, who is giving me the lowest commission? Like, all of these things yeah. we mm-hmm. can get into deeply, and I will in some future shows. But the one that I really wanted to talk about today that I noticed when I was kind of doing research on this and pulling up all the top top list. Right. One that really wasn't coming up in the top list on how to choose a realtor that a lot of people think is important. Can I guess? You can guess. Um, I love that house, so I called the sign in the yard. No, we, we like when that happens. But oh, okay. All right. <laughs> but that's not in the list. All right. What, what a lot of people do is they think, well, I'm going to just call somebody at the biggest broker in town because uh-huh. I have to list with the biggest broker because there's advantages with that. And honestly, out of all the lists online, that was not in the top uh, top criteria for anybody, money, news, magazines, HGTV. That was not a reason to choose your realtor. And the reason why is because, quite frankly, just like you choose a doctor, you don't Some practices are the biggest practices in town, but is it the practice that is working for you or is it the doctor and the relationship with him and the nurses that you you find you get the most satisfaction out of? Same with like an an accounting firm or a um, financial planning firm. You can go with the largest in town, but is it the financial planner himself that is actually looking out for the best deals and investing your money wisely and getting the most return. And that's really how it is in real estate. So it's who your agent is more than it is who the brokerage is. Oh, I see what you're saying. Because, yeah, you don't care who your agent works for or with. Exactly. You only care that they're working for you. Right. And some people are still in that old mindset of bigger is better. And Mm -hmm. and it's not necessarily the truth. It's really who you're hiring out of the brokerage firm's that is most important. Um, Back in the day before real estate and the internet mixed, there might've been a little bit of truth to that because there really wasn't any exposure for listings other than the brokerages themselves. Now the second somebody takes a listing, it's boom everywhere. Mm -hmm. So it's really about hiring the person who is the best marketing agent for you. A lot of times people don't even think about that. They think about it being sales and it is sales after it's marketing. Right. So you have to expose that house to as many people as possible. So who's spending the money? Who has the budgets? Who personally is invested in selling your home? It's not necessarily the brokerage. It's the agent that is handling your particular deal. So are they spending more of their money out of pocket to go invest in extra advertising, invest their time, know some marketing um, avenues to to go down and and purchase to get your home in front of more consumers rather than just relying on their broker's website. Well, and mm-hmm. it's also, you know, how you stage the home and get the home ready and, and it's knowledge, all of that it's stuff. communication. Not just relying on that name. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Availability. Yeah. You're not calling the broker. You're calling your agent. Yeah, because the, the buyer isn't saying, I have to go buy a house. I have to find the largest brokerage in not, town. The buyer does not care whose <laughs> sign is in that right. yard. It's all about the house and the bottom line. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's really, again, who you hire is most important. And like somebody with our group, we have people that specialize everywhere in St. Louis and St. Charles County. We have buyer specialists, seller specialists, marketing agents. I'm not being the jack of all trade. Uh, however, you are our uh, real estate guru, and uh, you're always looking for new good people, right? We are. We're, we're having a, uh, a hiring a frenzy right now, so I'm actually looking for people in marketing and license agents and people that want to get licensed thinking about a career in real estate it's the best way to get into real estate i mean they are protected you will teach them the right way Mm -hmm. they're part of a team so they're not isolated they're mentored trained and they they get going a lot faster with success and you and you you don't necessarily want people in in real estate somebody changing careers somebody getting back into the workforce absolutely you know you that's it's open so and there's agents out there that um kind of are tired of doing their own thing, searching for business themselves, we can 
help right. guide them in different directions or even have them doing licensed jobs but are not selling. So back in file management, stuff like that. Really mm-hmm. interesting stuff. Kathy Helbig, the Kathy Helbig Group.com. And uh, don't forget the app. The app is great. Download the app on your smartphone and uh, be able to uh, look at all the houses, as you said, right there. Kathy Helbig, thanks for coming in. Thank you. 741 Big 550 KTRS.